हेलो विद्यार्थी मित्रों चैप्टर टू नो लेक्चर नंबर टू चैप्टर नो नाम से इन्वर्स टेक्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन ना आपने दूसरे आते हैं बसों पे ये त्रिकोण वित्तीय विधेय पहला लेक्चर में विद्यार्थी मित्रों अपने बता स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म्स जो है यहाँ पहले स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म्स आपने जो है तो थोड़ो जनते रिपोर्ट करी बस एक्सरसाइज आपने चालू करी पहले स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म आपने ये जो है तो साइन इन्वर्स माइनस एक्स इक्वल तू माइनस साइन इन्वर्स एक्स x belongs to Samurutantra minus 1 to 1. Sin inverse minus x is equal to minus sin inverse x. x belongs to Samurutantra minus 1 to 1. But the video do you to operate in standard form. Tain inverse minus x is equal to minus tain inverse x. x belongs to r. This one is the second standard form. Third one. Cosec inverse minus x is equal to cosec inverse x. Mod x greater than or equal to 1. This is the first video lecture. Now, we will see the second one. Now, we will see the second one. विद्यार्थी मित्रों परीक्षा मे साबिती तैयारी करने एक्जाम्पल करने जरूर त्यार स्टार्टर फॉर्म Then 
therefore sin of sin inverse sin of sin inverse is equal to identity function on domain of sin inverse sin inverse to domain so your integral minus 1 to 1 so that is integral integral minus 1 to 1 same way sin inverse sin of something is equal to something something belongs to pure integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 can by current a sin no pradesh ke us is samrutra minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 a vatta is sin ni एक प्रमाणे cos of cos inverse something is equal to something बोलो जे आना मटा something क्या शे तो के sin ने cos inverse मटे तो समान समित्रो तो के बढ़ दाव शे आ कई संख्या इतिहास हुई तो ये समरूपत्राल minus one to one त्यार बा cos inverse cos of something is equal to something को बोलिए क्या है ये something क्या हो गया याद करो cos नो पंक्त तो प्रदेश कि जे बात मारते इस one one is one two recall that form where to where cos function is one one is one two so it is from pure integral zero to pi to pure integral minus one to one is one one is one because cos from where to where cos integral zero to pi to cos integral minus one to one is one one and one two. Same way, therefore, the cos inverse cos inverse from where to where. If f is from a to b, then f inverse is from b to a. Yes, dear friends, where to where cos integral minus one to one cos integral zero to pi. Same way. Let us see more. Ten inverse of ten sum integral is equal to sum integral. क्या रे? When ten of ten of something ten inverse ten of sum integral is equal to sum integral. When? बोलो बोलो. That is wrong. Open integral minus pi by two to pi by two. Sin cos tan cot 
radian measure gives value half cosine function kai kimat maje thase is nothing but sin pi by 6 now sin inverse sin sum angle is equal to sum angle why because sum angle belongs to minus pi by 2 pi by 2 Yeah, this is the example number one. Now next, what they want? Second example: cos inverse root three by two. Here, see so that is equal to cos inverse cos pi by six, and that is equal to pi by six by. Pi by six belongs to where? To where? Zero to pi. Very simple example. Now example number three. Cosec inverse two. Here they are saying cosec inverse two. I would like to solve for cosec inverse minus two. Let us see. So leave this one for you. See that is equal to minus cos inverse two because of cos inverse minus x is equal to minus cos inverse x. What is condition on x? Mod x should be greater than or equal to one. Of course, here too that is greater than one. So that is equal to minus cos inverse. Now, for which radian measure? For cosine function, we have to so that is cosine pi by six. So that means ultimately it comes out minus pi by six. Why? Because pi by six is in the, that range. Which one? Minus pi by two to pi by two except zero. Yeah, this is the example number three. Now let us see fourth one. Fourth one, tan inverse minus root three. I would like to solve tan inverse minus root three, and let us leave this one for you. Easily you can solve it. Let us start with tan inverse. Tan inverse minus root three. Now the tan inverse minus is equal to the standard form. That is equal to minus tan inverse root three. Because yes, tan inverse minus x is equal to minus tan inverse x. Or X belongs to R. Now that is equal. A inverse. For which value we have root three? Is nothing but ten pi by three in terms of radian measure. So that is equal to pi by three because of pi by three belongs to where to where? For point, what is domain of tan inverse? Is nothing but open interval minus pi by two to pi by two. Here, yeah. now let us solve fifth one. Cos inverse minus half. Fifth example number three. Cos inverse minus half. Before finding value of cos inverse minus half, let us recall standard form that is equal to pi minus cos inverse half. Why? Because cos inverse minus is equal to pi minus Cos inverse x. When x belongs to closing interval minus one to one. 
and of course half is in between minus 1 to 1 2. so that is equal to pi minus cos inverse cos pi by 3 why? because cos pi by 3 is nothing but 1 half and that is equal to pi minus pi by 3 why? Because pi by 3 belongs to the domain of our cos function is nothing but your integral 0 to pi. So that is equal to 2 pi by 3. Okay? Yes. Now see, next what we want? We want cot inverse root 3. 10 inverse root 3 is solved. So let us leave for you. Cot inverse root 3 for. Homework cos inverse minus half is solved. Let us see cos inverse minus one upon root two. Cos inverse minus one upon root two. Next example cos inverse minus one upon root two. Once again. Which standard form we have to apply? Pi minus cos inverse 1 upon root 2. Cos inverse 1 upon root 2. Because of cos inverse minus x is equal to pi minus cos inverse x x belongs to closing interval minus 1 to 1 that is what the reason is not the other why we are writing reason every time because that is necessary for the written paper and I will ask you whenever you are applying any standard form please mention into bracket that standard form so that is equal to pi minus cos inverse cos pi by 4 that we know. So that is equal to pi minus pi by 4. And that comes out 3 pi by 4. And one minute. Here we need to mention the reason why it is so. Because there is pi by 4. Pi by 4 belongs to log integral 0 to pi. So that is equal to 3 pi by 4. Here. Now see here. Now we are able to find all this value. Now see. Similarly, cosec inverse minus x, that is minus cosec inverse x, we are able to do it this thing. Sin inverse 1 upon 2, so let this to some more you. Let us find quote inverse minus 1 upon root 3. Quote inverse minus 1 upon root 3. Next example. Quote inverse minus 1 upon root 3. What is cot inverse minus x? That we know. Pi minus cot inverse 1 upon root 3. Why? Because cot inverse minus x is equal to pi minus cot inverse x. And what is the condition on x? x belongs to r. So that is equal to pi minus 4 inverse 4. What can you say about this thing? 1 upon root 3 is nothing but 4 pi by 3. So that is equal to pi minus pi by 3 because of pi by 3 belongs to where to where open interval 0 to pi. Why? Because from where to where open interval 0 to 5. 
Now, in this way, we can solve this type of sums. Now, let us see more examples here. Find values of following. Which is the key of value? Now they are taking not only one, one or two, three sums together. See here, first one. T inverse 1 plus cos inverse minus half plus sin inverse minus half. Here, we want this value. So first of all, apply standard forms. What first of all reason? What is cos inverse minus x? Pi minus cos inverse x. So first of all, put in the reason. Cos inverse minus x is equal to pi minus cos inverse x. x belongs to minus 1 to 1. Yes or no? Yes. Next one. Sin inverse minus x is also there. Sin inverse minus x is equal. Please tell me. What is sin inverse minus x? Sin inverse minus x is equal to minus sin inverse x. x belongs to plus into minus 1 to 1 on same line. So that is equal to t inverse 1 plus pi minus cos inverse half minus sin inverse half. Now replace values. So that is equal to tan inverse tan pi by 4 that we know plus pi minus cos inverse cos pi by 3 minus sin inverse sin pi by 6. Yeah. So that is equal to pi by 4 10 inverse 10 of 10 3 is pi by 4 because pi by 4 belongs to open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 next pi minus pi by 3 because pi by 3 belongs to plug interval 0 to pi pi plug interval 0 to pi because that is for cos minus pi by 6 Minus pi by 6 because the very minus pi by 6, minus pi by 6 belongs to close interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So what we get? Pi by 4 plus 2 pi by 3 minus pi by 6. Take it here. Yeah. 12. 4, 3, the 4. Yes or no? Yes. So that is equal to 9 pi by 12. That is equal to 3 pi by 4. Similarly, you can find the answer of second one also. But here plus 2 into sin inverse half is given. No problem. Sin inverse, cos inverse half plus 2 sin inverse half. No problem. 2 put here it is. Here cos pi by 6. Sorry, cos pi by 3. And here you get sin pi by 6. So, I am leaving second one for home button. Okay. Let us see next one. See here. Next one. See, is a multiple choice question. It's a very simple question. If sin inverse x is equal to y, then this thing. Jo sin inverse x is equal to y, to any one of them. See, 
Recall the definition. Sign is from close interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 to close interval minus 1 to 1. This one is 1 1 and 1 2. So sign is from where to where? Close interval minus 1 to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Here. So if I take y is equal to sin x, then x from this domain and y goes in four domain for sin inverse. If I take y is equal to sin inverse x, then x goes in close into minus 1 to and y goes in close into minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Please tell me which option is correct for the first MCQ. For the first interview, this one is the correct answer. You can see the definition. So this is the one of the example for inverse trigonometric form. We have six trigonometric forms. So corresponding six inverse trigonometric forms are there. So they can ask this type of various questions and the multiple choice question. See, and how to solve this type of question? Only we need to mention this function as well as its inverse form. Here, yeah, then it is very easy. Next one, next sum is given. What we want? We want value of tan inverse root 3 minus set inverse minus 2. Now see. But a set inverse minus x different. Likewise, we call that form. See, sin inverse minus x is equal to minus sin inverse x. Similarly, tan inverse minus x is equal to minus tan inverse x. Cosec inverse minus x is equal to minus cosec inverse x. Cos inverse minus x is equal to pi minus cos inverse x. Same way, sec inverse minus x is equal to pi minus sec inverse x and last one cot inverse minus x is also pi minus cot inverse x so here first of all we need to use that form tan inverse root 3 minus sec inverse but nothing but it is from where to where is nothing but pi minus sec inverse 2 root tan inverse root 3 minus pi plus sec inverse 2 now write its gradient measures that is equal to tan inverse tan pi by 3 minus pi sec inverse pi by 3 okay? yes so ultimately it comes out pi by 3 minus pi plus pi by 3 because of pi by 3 belongs to open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 why, why I am taking open interval because for tan inverse it is open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and for this second pi by 3 and pi by 3 belongs to pi to pi sec inverse so 0 to pi except pi by 2 so what you get 2 pi by 3 minus pi so that is equal to minus pi by 3. Where is it? That is nothing but b. In same way, we can solve that thing. Let us see slightly extra examples. Find the values. I would like to take some extra examples. See here. Find the value of Sin of 2 sin inverse 2 
by 5. See, that means let us say example that are not tabular form. Other than tabular form is given to us, then what we have to do? Find values. First one, Timothy Mero. Now see here. Suppose sine inverse 2 by 5 is equal to x. So x belongs to where to where? And therefore 2 by 5 is equal to sine x. And for sine inverse? Cross interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Yeah. Sin x is equal to this one. If we put here, then we get sin inverse sin 2x. And what is the standard form? Recall from 11 sin. Sin 2 theta, that comes out 2 sin theta cos theta. And limit we need the value of cos theta, cos x. Whole x belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Cos x is nothing but under root 1 minus sin square x. X ni add in with matter again, cos x add the shape. Why? Because this consists of 4 in first quadrant. So, 2 and a pair of the run away. And if a cos function is positive, positive. And that is equal to under root 1 minus 4 by 25. Yes or no? 2 by 5 means this thing. So you get root 21 by 5. Yes or no? 4 by 25. 25 minus 4, 21 by 5. And therefore, sign of 2 sine inverse 2 by 5. Sin inverse 2 by 5 is equal to now see here sin of 2x that is equal to 2 sin x into cos x 2 sin x is 2 by 5 cos x is root 21 by 5 so that is equal to 4 root 21 by 25 in this way we can find value of this thing. Okay. So let us see next one. Next one. They find out value of tan square. Half of cosinus 2 by 3. Next one. Second one. 10 square half of cos inverse 2 by 3. How to find value of this form? Suppose cos inverse 2 by 3 is equal to x. So 2 by 3 is equal to cos x. Where is x? x belongs to 0 to pi because cos function is there. Now see. Here we get tan square x by 2. Now recall that form from 10, 11. Tan square x is equal to tan at 1 minus cos 2x over 1 plus cos 2x. Why? Because 1 minus cos 2x is nothing but 2 sin square x and 1 plus cos 2x is nothing but 2 cos square x 2 to get cancel what we get? 10 square x but here we won't see here angle x is so see here double is there so same way 1 minus cos x over 1 plus cos x is equal to 2 sin square x by 2 1 minus cos x and 1 plus cos x is equal to 2 cos square x 
by 2, 2 to get cancelled, we get cancel x by 2. Yes or no? Yes. So let us use that part here. See, half and therefore tan square 1 by 2 cos inverse 2 by 3 is equal to tan square x by 2 because cos inverse 2 by 3 is equal to x supposing that is equal to x so that is equal to 1 minus cos x over 1 plus cos x and we have already of course that is equal to 1 minus 2 by 3 over 1 plus 2 by 3 3 minus 2 over 3 plus 2 and that comes out 1 by 5 similarly let us see one more standard form or one more example find value of sine inverse Sine of 3 sine inverse 1 by 2. Find the value of this one. See. Once again, we need to use sine inverse half is equal to theta or x. Suppose sine inverse 1 by 2 is equal to x, that okay. And therefore, 1 by 2 is equal to sin x. x belongs to cross integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Yes or no? Yes. Use this value then. Sin of 3 sin inverse half. So the shape is nothing but sin 3 theta or sorry 3x there is nothing but sin 3x and what is the formula of sin 3x that is 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x 3 sin x is 1 by 2 minus 4 into 1 by 2 cube so that is 3 by 2 minus 4 by 8 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and that you know that 2 minus 3 minus 1 by 2 3 minus 1 by 2, 2 by 2, and that comes out 1. Similarly, you are able to find all this type of values. For example, let us consider in terms of cos. Next term, find value of sin of 2 cos inverse 4 by 5 sin of 2 cos inverse 4 by 5 next question how to find it on same line suppose cos inverse 4 by 5 is equal to x and therefore 4 by 5 is equal to cos x per x. x is equal to 2 pi. Yes or no? Yes. Now, here you get cos sin of 2 theta. And we know that what is the standard form sin 2 theta? 2 sin theta cos theta. Now, therefore, we need. Now see 0 to pi, that is first and second quadrant, x belongs to 0 to pi implies sin x is not negative, so sin x is equal to under root 1 minus cos square x, so that is equal to 
under root 1 minus 16 by 25 that is equal to under root 9 by 25 that is equal to 3 by 5. Clear? And therefore, and therefore, sine of 2 cos inverse 4 by 5 is equal to sine 2x. What is formula? 2 sin x into cos x that is equal to 2 sin x is 3 by 5 cos x is 4 by 5 What do you get? 4 3 to the, 3 to the 6 4 3 to the 12 to the 24 by 25 Here. So, Atomani, but the examples of the Gani Shapu. Now, illustrations for Bomba. Next time, we are going to see more examples. For your Patanati, other examples are going to show. Thank you, friends.